Hello beautiful family, we've done a video asking you if you would pray, I hope it's uh, uploaded uh, soon uh, for us so you, so we can pray and uh, we can preach with more Holy Spirit and power of the Lord, the, the time is at hand, Jesus is coming at long last, so we're preaching in York again, uh, I'm going to stand over there. So you can see me, and uh, and Andrea's going to. I'll just be wandering up and down. And Andrea's, Andrea's got these, and she's giving them out. Yeah. Um, she talks to people so beautifully. She she um, ex uh, displays the fruit of the spirit of gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. Um, she's perfect. She really is, and I'm blessed to have her with me. I really am. A real sister in the Lord. So here we go, guys. God bless you. Do the Lord's prayer Th first. Thank, yes, we are. Thank you for your prayers and support. Right, uh, our, our Father, Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our sins, sins as we forgive, forgive those that sin against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Right, thank you, Lord. We're right, forgiven. Then. Thank you, Jesus. Right, here we go, guys. Turn it on first. Oh. Graphic equalizer's not right. Ah. Let's see if this is all right. Turn the echo off. Uh, volume not too full. Uh, echo, a little bit of echo. Right, here we go. God bless you, York. We have come here to tell you that the living God, he loves you so much. And we have come here to tell you how simple it is to be saved and know you are going to heaven and not going down to hell because there is a heaven and a hell and your decision to accept or reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ will determine where you spend eternity because your body contains your soul one day when you die your soul you will go straight to the judgment seat of the almighty god and without the lord jesus christ you will not be granted access into heaven and you will find yourself in hell and the only requirements for you to be saved and know you are going to heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man. Do not take the gamble that the Lord Jesus isn't who he says he is. He is the Messiah and he's the only name under heaven given to us by which we can be saved and enter into heaven. Because the Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned. We all have sinned, me included. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give everyone, is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible says there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. 
And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the remission, for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. And if you confess Jesus as Lord, say, yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved and you'll be granted a place in heaven. And this is for anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done, go to Jesus, believe, believe the gospel that he paid the price in full on the cross for all your sin. Believe that he rose again from the dead. Call upon him and you will be saved. Many churches may have not told you how simple it is to be saved and know you're going to heaven. Going to church every Sunday is not what saves you. Only the precious blood of Jesus Christ will save you. Save yourselves from this untoward and wicked generation. Lay hold of your salvation. You have the choice where you spend eternity. This is a matter of heaven and hell. It's a matter of life and death. Your decision to accept or reject the King, the Lord Jesus, will determine where you spend eternity. And Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who believes on him, no matter what you have done. It's not about religion, and it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will not turn you away. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life. And their name shall be written in heaven, because there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief Satan, the god of this age, cometh only to steal and to kill and to destroy. The devil Satan is whispering in your ear and saying, Is Jesus really the only way I am making it to heaven and escaping the damnation of hell? The devil Satan wants to distract you away from the Lord. Lord Jesus, so that you will not be saved and that you will go down to hell. You don't have to let the devil determine where you're spending eternity. Lay hold of your salvation. You have the choice. It doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will abundantly pardon and receive anybody and everybody who goes to him in truth. But the Bible makes it very clear.